How did we become diabetic? Diabetes is becoming more and more common, and it looks like it will soon precede the incidence of infarction and cancer. Often the cause of this disease is overfeeding with the wrong type of food, especially in children. Yes, children as well as adults are affected by pancreatic disorder. Children also get diabetes. This requires deprivation of the pleasures of childhood following a strict diet, and taking insulin injections twice a day. Easy and pleasant conditions are not always in our favor. As many of today's diseases show, we must tighten our belts and turn to more nutritious foods. Especially before holidays and holidays, we see people who shop as if they are going to feed an army. I want to give you recipes that will activate the pancreas and therefore, Destroy the cause of diabetes, as the Swiss herbalist Priest Kunzel says. Diabetes is quickly cured with tea made from the following herbs. Three measures of amber. One measure of blackberry leaves. One part blueberry leaves. Three parts golden finger grass. Two parts dried green bean pods. The time of harvesting of bilberry determines its healing properties. Only the fruit should be picked before it ripens. If taken at the right time, it is a clinically proven diabetes medicine. Before the fruit ripens, a substance called myrtiline is abundant in blueberry leaves. This not only reduces sugar, but also destroys it. The myrtillin substance found in the leaves is not called vegetable insulin for nothing. Despite this wonderful feature of bilberry leaves, treatment with tea should be under the supervision of a doctor. Celery also lowers sugar and is recommended. An old folk recipe recommends eating raw carrots every day, as well as taking sauerkraut juice. Onion and garlic eaten on a slice of bread are also very useful in reducing sugar levels. Yet another folk recipe, four tablespoons of blueberry leaves must be picked before the fruit ripens are placed in two liters of cold water and boiled until the water is reduced to half. It should be drunk three times a day. Stinging nettle is also a plant that has a very good effect on the pancreas and lowers blood sugar. In this case, nettle juice should be used. Since the root of the spruce compensates for all the damages of the pancreas, it is also beneficial for diabetes. Less than a teaspoon of sprig root is washed in one quarter liter of water, chipped like a pencil with a knife and left in cold water overnight, heated in the morning, filtered. Drink one sip at the beginning and end of each meal, that is, six sips a day. Recommend to every diabetic. Elderberry shoots and leaves are also very useful as a tea. Elderberry is the oldest healing plant used among the people. When the dandelion first shows itself in the meadows in the spring, it should be cut close to the root, washed and prepared as a salad. The stalks of some are grass green, others milky yellow. Yellow tastes better. Diabetics should eat this salad morning and evening in spring. At the end of April or the beginning of May, the dandelion blooms. That's when the diabetic should do a four-week cycle. Gather the flowering stems, wash them, then discard the flowers. Eat 10 to 15 stalks a day. After four weeks, maybe all your sugar will be at a minimum. The stems are better at first, but then you get used to it. Mistletoe is also a useful healing medicine that affects the pancreas. Mistletoe is left overnight in cold water. At first, it starts with three cups of cold water and three full teaspoons of mistletoe. 
After two weeks, drink two full teaspoons into cups. And after a week or two, drink one full teaspoon in a cup. After a while, this method is abandoned when fresh vegetables begin to appear for diabetics in the spring. Mistletoe is medicinal from the beginning of October to the beginning of December and in March and April. It should be collected at these times. The strongest mistletoes are those that grow on oak and poplar trees. Mistletoes of pine and nut trees are also good. The stem and leaves are cut off. White berries should never be put in tea. Leek is also good for sweets. Leek salad is recommended for lunch. For evening meals, it is eaten by cutting the stems up to the ends and placing them on bread. One half kilogram to prepare a delicious and easily digestible drink. Cut the whole leek into small pieces and pour 0.7 liters of white wine on top. Close the bottle well and leave for 24 hours. Then strain the liquid into bottles for a sip in the morning and evening. You can put the bottomed part on the bread and eat it. Here's how a doctor cured his patient. Crush three large cloves of garlic and put them in a one a liter bottle of cereal brandy or vodka and leave them in the sun or in a warm room for 10 to 14 days. Then drink a teaspoon each morning before breakfast. Don't forget to like the channel and subscribe.